Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. This video is meant for those who are studying electromagnetism, which describes the interactions between charged particles and magnetic fields. Charged particles are tiny pieces of matter that carry a positive charge or a negative charge. Magnetic fields are regions of space that apply a force to these particles. Today we are going to focus on that force, and specifically how to find the direction it is applied in. You should already know that a force can be drawn as a special kind of arrow called a vector. It has a certain size and a certain direction. The size, or magnitude, shows how strong the force is. There are equations for calculating the strength of the force on a charged particle in a magnetic field, but the direction of the force is what's important right now. If you know the direction of the force applied to a charged particle, you can predict how that particle will move through the region where the magnetic field exists. This kind of prediction is used to guide the construction of generators and motors, which exploit magnets and wires full of charged particles to generate and consume electricity. Many specialized pieces of equipment, including massive particle accelerators, also require predictions of how charged particles will move inside them. To predict the direction of this force I am talking about, we could use some equation, or we could be less boring and use a visual shortcut. You may have heard of a shortcut called Fleming's left hand rule. It looks like this. The idea is that your thumb and these two fingers are all pointing at right angles to each other. They represent the direction of travel of a charged particle, the direction of the magnetic field it travels through, and the direction of the force it experiences. Personally, I have some problems with this visualization. First of all, it's painful to hold my fingers like this, and I don't even have arthritis. Second, I can never remember which digit represents which thing. You can apply a mnemonic or other memory trick, of course, or you can do what my teacher did and invent a new visualization. Here it is. The slap rule shows the same information as Fleming's left hand rule, but in a way that is much easier to understand. All you have to do is take your right hand, hold your fingers out straight and stick your thumb straight up. Your thumb points in the direction of a charged particle. According to convention, this particle has a positive charge. Your fingers represent the lines of a magnetic field. Where is the force then? It sticks straight up from your palm, the same direction as the force of a slap. Stronger. Oh my God. Now I should explain some features that are a little confusing, and the slap rule can help us to untangle them. Firstly, I said that the thumb represents a moving charged particle. The particle has to already be moving in order to experience a force from the magnetic field. If the particle just sits still in the magnetic field, there is no magnetic force upon it. Furthermore, the magnetic force that acts on a charged particle always acts at right angles to the direction the particle is moving in at any particular time. This force therefore pushes the particle sideways and causes it to move in a curve. Think of the Earth orbiting around the Sun. It follows a curve because the Sun's gravity keeps pulling the Earth sideways as it tries to move forward in its orbit. For the slap rule to work properly, the magnetic field needs to point at right angles to both the particle's motion and the force that is generated. These three factors should be mutually perpendicular. My final point is that the right hand slap rule works for positively charged particles. So what if the particles are negatively charged, like the electrons that actually move inside circuits? Well then, you just use your left hand. The right hand is positive, the left hand is negative. And yes, I am right-handed. How did you know? I hope this short video has been helpful for your study in electromagnetism. Anytime you need to relate the motion of a charged particle to a local magnetic field, just remember 